Okay, guys. Hey, I thought I would hook my computer up here and do a quick, um, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I'm just in the process of working. I've been making a few um, of my paintings and I know I wanted to share more. So um, excuse the way everything looks. I've just moved into a new studio and as you can see, it's raw and I am not even like <laughs> YouTubeable right now in terms of just, I, cause I've been just up working. So that's why you don't see me right now, but yeah, maybe it's a little bit of vanity going on, but that's okay. Cause I've been making pieces and I just thought I would stop and turn it on and keep the process going. So basically I'm working on this canvas paper. I like working on this cause it gives me the, the feel of canvas, but uh, you know, I can, um, it's a little bit more pliable and I can just really go with it. So I'm using a charcoal stick. I'll try to tell you the stuff that I'm doing as I'm going, but probably you can tell from seeing some of my stuff already that I work very quickly and very intuitively. So I want to share that process with you because, um, you know, I do a lot just around my work has a lot to do with the feminine energy and sometimes I feel like it has a lot to do with even what's going on in the planet and, and I don't know something just said share it with you you guys because I think many of you just energetically get where I'm coming from and I wanted you just to see the process live um, I think there's a lot um, I know I enjoy seeing the live process for people also not to turn off any guys because I'm not talking about female feminine energy as much as I'm talking about the divine feminine and I believe that's what's happening in all of us there's just a balancing of the divine feminine on the planet so that we can just be more effective as human beings so this is just about just energy it's not about you know the whole you know old class struggle of right or wrong good and bad and male and female and all that so just wanted to say that because i you know i'm not about alienating i'm really just about assimilating and for us all to come together as artists as creators creatives now what i'm doing here a little bit is um i'm using the liquitex inks I started using these. Love, love, love them. This color is burnt umber. Um, and what I also do when I'm working is I have a number of waste sheets. So you're going to see that, and they become foundations for other pieces. So you can kind of see that the direction this is going in. I'm just, and I'm only, I've limited myself to using this little blue, blue past plastic putty knife. And I do that a lot because I'm just like into mark making and in just to the energy of it all. Um, so this is the same orange ozo. So here we're going to put some of that in here. And here again, I'm just working. And I have some of this. I love this paper over here. It's, um, I don't know, it's not very good paper, but I love the color of it. It's like a drawing paper. It's super absorbent. And, you know, I can get some prints going from it. So see, that becomes sort of secondary print that I'm going to come back to. But see, it also made the yellows pop because I was able to pull up some of that color and get it to integrate into this canvas cloth. You also can see here where those colors are lightening when you pull a little bit off. So, so this is um, Iozo Yellow Nickel um, Goldens. And this is the fluid acrylics. I like their fluid acrylic, so I'm going to mix some of that in. Then I have this Indian yellow. I love it. Um, so I'm going to put some of this down. Because sometimes I like to work a few colors at the same time. This right here is going to be more opaque on the canvas. And then, so some of my mixing happens right on the piece. A lot of it does. Because I'm just really going for... So I like that. I have another piece over here that I had already started doing some clean offs on. So I'm going to put this on as well. And 
and you see we got another print going there all that will build up and then we have wow we have this nice thing to happen here it's sort of like triangle with the, the lighter color so gold and the liquid inks. crimson text so I'm just gonna at this point I don't know I'm just feeling the energy of Bendy so we'll put like just a little bit right there and then we're gonna work it around see what happens <laughs> okay. that just gives me that little I don't know that energy that um, Bindi is the symbol of oneness. It's Hindu, but it's that feeling of oneness, that solidarity, that singularity that's happening. So that's good. I'm going to pull some of that up a little bit. Um, let's see, we transferred some of that there. Energetically, that's going on. No, no, no. Um, I'm at the place where I will probably begin to do the the language the writing that I do on the pieces and I think I'm going to go back to that red that red is really calling me so I'm gonna get that um, I need to see if I want to I feel like I need to do something else here let's go with the raw sienna and uh, let's see I'm just gonna I'll just kind of put it down as you can see guys this is how I work very it's very the process is very instinctual for me it's about uh, probably my work I would say falls into abstract expressionism for sure we had to label it because I'm definitely about emotion it's emotionalism for me maybe abstract emotionalism <laughs> that's probably more of what that's kind of where we are right now and then, so what I'm feeling is before I do the writing on top, which will unify the piece, I'm going to go back and get something dark like um, this. No, I think I'm going to go with the black. So I'm going to go back and get the Golden's Flow black, carbon black. And I'm going to put some lines from start to top. I have a tendency to work down Got a nice glob on there as you can see so what I'm taking is I'm just kind of pulling through that paint and creating some marks that will give I don't know this sort of overall expression I want to see happen here like I never really know where I'm going. I'm just really, um, I'm gonna get a mono print of this. I just really go with the energy. We're gonna get some of that. I'm gonna make a mono print. Like that. And that also helps to get the color off. So see here's a mono print, what we just put down. So it gives a lot of good substructure. And then with the tip of this, I'm going to go back again and just integrate some of it. Okay. 
I'm not, I'm not making these marks right here, if you can see them. I'm not making them just to make them. I'm really just taking some of the ink, I mean, the, the paint and moving it around. So I'm going to get another print right over here because I want to move some more off of there. Um, great. Can you see how that sort of added another mono print surface right in there. All that's good stuff. I can come back to that. So I think I'm going to take some... Let's see. I feel like I'm supposed to just start writing now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to use the red. And this, the writing is just a very instinctive process for me. Like, I mean, I, I feel and I understand words become, become coming to my mind. But uh, I've been doing this sort of language for many years now. And uh, see, the painting knew that it wanted this red on top like that because I don't always um, paint the language with the red, but uh, this piece is beginning to express itself. So there we are. So this gets put aside to dry um, because I don't go back over those marks. And you can see it's pretty wet um, in there. So I want it to dry, you know, as it is. So I'm going to go and take it with this to dry. Um, I, I have another one I can show you that I finished earlier before coming on. This one should be, yep, pretty dry. So this is one that's on um, this paper here. Done pretty much the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this one. This one I did before I started as well. Like I said, I have been in here working and uh, you can 